Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Wild West Chronicles, a new season. Let's check it out. Okay, so to start off the episode, the local news revealed my new job so I can share it with you. The sun is far from setting on old Tucson. It's a terrific feeling to know that we brought all that history that is in this park and it is now in the present. We're doing it all over again. John Scott is a historian here, a reel of history that includes hundreds of movies. It's a very exciting opportunity for me that allows me to mix my Old West history with Western cinema history. As you all know, that's a big part of what we do here at Arizona Ghost Riders. Old Tucson Studios is right where I need to be. Every day I get to tell people where John Wayne, Glenn Ford, and Clint Eastwood stood and educate them with the history of westward expansion. Some of you viewers have introduced yourselves to me at the park and it warms my soul. If you come out to visit the famous movie set, please don't hesitate to say hi. Okay, on to the new season of Wild West Chronicles. The INSP Network has come out with more docudramas about our favorite time period. They once again gave me permission in screeners to review it, which I'm pleased about. The series follows Bat Masterson as he retells some of the exploits of our famous Old Westians. In the series premiere, Masterson tells his editor about how he assisted in the daring escape of Billy Thompson in 1880. William Thompson, aka Texas Billy, is listed in the history books as a gambler and gunman. He was brother to Ben Thompson, who was also known in the gunpowder and fast lead circle. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we're gonna go through it together. Billy was the wilder brother who got into more scrapes. Reading his history, it's clear that he had a short fuse and wasn't afraid of resorting to gunplay. On June 21st of 1880, Billy was in Ogallala, Nebraska, drinking in a saloon. He and the bartender, Bill Tucker, did not get along, and eventually it led to a fight. You care to say that again? Yeah, I said, get out of my bar, take your stuff. I'll see you outside. The INSP episode shows the bartender attempting to dry around. gulch Thompson with a shotgun as he's walking away. However, what I've read tells me that Thompson started the gunfight. Either way, both men were wounded and Billy was arrested. Go ahead, I got you covered. Because of his wounds, he was locked in a more comfortable hotel room to await a trial. Upon hearing this, Brother Ben talked to Bat Masterson and asked him for help. Bat was a known lawman Although he had no jurisdiction in Nebraska, he agreed to go and see what could be done. INSP's rendition reveals a marshal who has an agenda to hang Billy from a nearby cottonwood. The actor who plays him did an excellent job as the bloodthirsty lawman. There's a cottonwood tree across the street. Been here since before the town. As soon as that boy can walk, he'll swing from it. You could really see why Bat Masterson got Billy out of there illegally. In reality, Masterson couldn't come up with the payment the wounded bartender asked to forget the whole matter, so he broke Billy out of the hotel and out of Nebraska. In this telling, the pair was helped along their journey by Buffalo Bill Cody, which I'm having trouble finding historical evidence of. Colonel Cody, you know this man? Uh, he does not. Sorry, mister. You got me wrong. Billy Thompson wandered around the West as a gambler, always having to keep his temper in check until he died on September 6th, 1897, from natural causes. INSP doesn't disappoint with the characterizations. The wardrobe has mainly good points, although Masterson's hat looked like a modern wool crushable. I can't fault them for retelling a more dramatic version of the actual event, because that is part of movie making. What we can do as viewers is research the story and glean our own knowledge. The important thing is that INSP is making Wild West Chronicles and bringing to light people and events that many of you have never even heard of. Keep it up, you filmmaking folks. Oh, and by the way, I'm available to play a bartender in the next episode. 
just give me a call. Thanks. Bye. I came here as a kid, and I love this place, and I never thought I would ever work here. So actually coming to work every day here is, is, is like jumping back in time, you know. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. In 1940, when Arizona, the movie, came out, it was a huge impact in Tucson and Southern Arizona, all of Arizona. A major motion picture had been filmed out here. And after 83 years since the first movie was filmed here, it's ready for action again.